everybody, Megan Bullington here. So I have a new recipe for you and I'm pretty excited about it. I made this up uh, this past weekend for my kids and they loved it. So we've had some changes in our family. We have, I have four children. We all eat paleo for the most part. I have three kids that eat paleo, one that's had to go to GAPS, and I have to eat AIP. The food can get a little complicated and I'm doing everything I can to make things as easy as possible. I created this pet recipe this past weekend and it is both GAPS and paleo. It's also low carb for those who are just following a low carb diet. It's really good, my kids gobbled it up. It's not egg free, so for those of you that are like, Megan, I hate eggs already, I promise I'm gonna work on an egg free variation of this because I've had to pull eggs from my own diet. Let me walk you through what we're gonna do to make this. First, we're gonna need bacon. We're only gonna need about four strips. We're gonna need spaghetti squash, and I'm gonna show you how to prep this bad boy. Kale, because my life goal is to see how many vegetables, especially leafy greens, I can get in my kids. Garlic granules, sea salt, and pepper. Super easy. Oh, and eggs. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut up my bacon and get it cooking. And I just cut it up with scissors like this. I do two pieces at a time. I'm gonna do four pieces. While that's cooking, I'm gonna walk you through what you do with the spaghetti squash. Okay, here's the thing with spaghetti squash. It is hard to cut. So what I do is I cut, I draw kind of a line with a knife along the edge of the spaghetti squash all the way around. I microwave it for two minutes, wait a second, then do two more. And then you're gonna be able to cut along that line and cut it in half. It's not gonna cook it all the way through, it's not gonna be cooked perfectly, you're just wanting to be able to cut it. Once you cut it, you're gonna wanna sit it out for a little while to cool down, it's gonna be hot. So what I do is I cut it in advance, leave it for a little bit, go do some things that I need to do, come back and work on this. Now in the middle of your spaghetti squash, you have seeds, so I'm just gonna scoop those out. I have my large bar pan that I've lightly greased. The spaghetti squash is actually gonna go on the bottom. I'm gonna use a fork and I'm just gonna start scraping it out on here. Lightly sauce this all over. I know some of you like measurements, so for those of you that like measurements, this is probably about half a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to put some garlic granules on top of that. Okay, now we're gonna top it with our kale. So I already have my kale chopped up and prepared. If you're not in my VIP group, you need to request to join. I'll put the link below. That is where I share all the behind the scenes, food prep for the week, grocery tips, and things like that. So I'm gonna take my kale and I'm gonna throw it on top of my spaghetti squash. Now we're gonna put our eggs right on top of this. I'm not gonna scramble them, I'm just gonna open them and put them right on top. I'm using 12 eggs. Now I'm going to salt and pepper. And we're gonna add our bacon. I'm 
gonna throw this in the oven on 400. Okay, it just came out of the oven. I bake it on 400 for about 20 minutes. The way I know that it's done is I poke the egg yolk and if the knife come or knife or fork comes out clean, then I know it's done. If you wanted your eggs a little bit runny, obviously you could cook it for less time. Now let me show you what it looks like. My kids gobble this up. I also could serve it with a little bit of salsa on top or avocado, but it's good. So I'm gonna get this cut up for my kids. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave any questions in the comments below. Bye.